So if infantry operations comes to a close, that breaks with this whole entire anime of episode 12. Episode 12, maybe not the best episode I've seen, but however, it has some issues I definitely do want to talk about. And those just those are just something that it's just best I just want to say. Now, basically the whole entire of this anime, the, the whole entire of this anime, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's really good. Yes, the fan service is nice and stuff like that, you know, and all, all that and all that other stuff, stuff like that. But it was a very good storyline, and I really actually liked it. It has a very, very, very good story. But I felt like the story is just in and off, of the, off to a cliffhanger, which I'm not very happy. And there's really, there's no telling if we're going to see season two or not. And generally, just be honest with you guys, I think I'm pretty much, I think I'm pretty much, I'm starting to understand like why some people basically were just not so happy about the ending of this anime. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that some people were just really negative or stuff like that. And I can, I can do, I can understand that. But like, basically, just basically, just basically, you know, basically about the, about this ending of this anime is just gave no clarification for whatsoever at all. It just gives us, it just gives us a cliffhanger. That's what basically it it did. I don't know if there's an OVA out there or something like that. Or something like that. I really, I really don't know. I'm really just kind of just basically just not, just basically not very happy because I just wish that the anime would just, <clears throat> but but the same, you know. I just really wish that Rin, she should have stayed. I mean, she should have just stayed. That's what I, that's what I pretty much I, I do think. You know, I wanted her to stay. I didn't want her to go back to her own world, even though even though she had to go back to her own world, even though what this alien freak person who looks like a crow or something like that is just like you know she's just like dominating on 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 Rand. It's just basically you know she said that she was going to destroy her world if she did not listen and stuff like that. One thing I was I was kind of confused about this because. This is something, this is something that I normally, I did not ever see this really actually basically happen. And I think this, this is also an issue also as well too. Because when they said, when they said that she was from a different world, which that she is, I begin to think that she was just, she was just an alien, that she was just, you know, basically she was just an alien. So I'm assuming she's probably half human, half alien. Or maybe she just disguised herself just as a human. There's no clear indications of, why she why she dressed herself like it you know like an ant not not an alien but as a human but it's just it's just something now I just didn't really actually understand because even though even though she is an alien I mean she even though that she is an alien but however part of that she's a human also as well too but it's just it just really just makes me confused because I just did not understand why some people why some people just just got like really upset because I mean. I, now I begin to understand because the enemy really did not tell us like what happened or anything like that. The one thing, one thing I definitely want to uh, explain is that it has to do with Rin's um, feathers on her neck. It's kind of like it's, it's kind of like a tattoo because I don't know what those those feathers are supposed to do or some or something like that or maybe this because because that crow girl gave her gave her the arrows because she's she's supposed to be doing her mission mission is that she's supposed to. I'm assuming that she's supposed to destroy these monsters or something like that. That's what, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. And the one thing, one thing is just, just that it was just Rin's character. She's, it seems like she seems, she seems like she's not a very sociable person. She doesn't want to be being in a way of somebody else or something like that. Even though Akini, what, which I definitely do like about her because it's one thing I like about Aki. She's very, very cheerful. She really is nice. She's very bubbly. And you know she, I mean, that's basically just the character of her. Basically, in this anime, it's just absolutely just beautiful. It's just with that the and the, the 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 acting of uh, of Aki was just on point, and just something like that. I just just feel like wow, this is beautiful. This is really actually really good, and stuff like that. And it's just something that I loved about her character, basically in this anime. That's her anime, even though she's she is one of my favorites, but she's not really my top favorite. But you know, really, really, it's just basically. The whole entire discussion, basically, in the anime and stuff like that—that's just basically what it seems to be. But it still doesn't answer the question, like why she's half alien and half human, or or something, or something that maybe they maybe there's a planet out there that must must we don't we don't know that might maybe may think like oh yeah she's oh yeah she's she's still a human or alien because there's no definition of for for the answer. So I mean. I, we got none. That's what it feels like to me. So I mean, I, I don't know. It's just that's what that's what it feels like to me. But question is, is that 
one thing I'm really kind of wondering because like okay since, since she's an alien okay and she came from she came from another it came from another planet okay we all know that but why did she come to Earth in the first place? Maybe there's something maybe there's something that she was trying to find. Or so, or, or something like that, which I really do not even know. I don't know if she really was living on planet Earth or something like that, or maybe we really, maybe we really don't even know and stuff like that. And one thing, one thing is, is basically, basically, I want to talk about is basically just uh, Rin, Rin's apartment because Rin's apartment is, doesn't look like she has furniture all over her apartment, no clothes, no or, or anything, or anything like that, food or whatever. Maybe this is something like that, and you basically you just have the crow girl. The, uh, the crow alien is basically is just like, you know just manipulating Ray and stuff like that and just manipulating her and you can just see there's a table and you see like there's a bird bird stand it's, it's something where the bird goes like you know like to sit down and stuff like that and it also has a table also has a table and a chair also all, all the rest I'm really kind of wondering why she does not have really much stuff in her apartment that's something that's something I'm just I'm, I'm beginning to kind of question because Maybe she doesn't tell you that, or maybe she does not understand the whole the whole idea is about means to be living on Earth is with that. Maybe she does not even know like what what does this does or anything like that. Maybe she's just more different than we actually we actually really do do not know. And I'm mean, even quite surprised because you know the the scientist the scientist um weasel whatever the name is uh he knows he knows everything. Well, I won't say he knows everything, but he's he's a very smart guy. He's basically the grandpa basically in this anime because he looks looks up. For for Aki and some of the others, you know, unlocking the keys. Now, some people may say, some people may say this is kind of like a mixed bag between Magical Girl Nonoha and into like kind of uh, I I don't know. Give me a second. I'm so sorry. Uh, so I mean, I I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you. I'm just going to give this a rating for this anime. I'm just going to give it a 7.5. Because I mean, it's just, it's just. I'm not trying to be negative for something like that. I did a lot of good high praise for this anime, but it just didn't. It just didn't really do really much for me. And the one thing about that cliffhanger, I definitely do want to talk about that, is because it's because of the fact because we didn't see Rin Chan. We didn't see her. Only Akini is the only one who got the sword. And I was just going, "You got to be kidding me!" Okay, so because I mean, this is just the ending of the anime, and then we never, we never saw her. I don't know. That's pretty frustrating. I mean, I'm not gonna lie; it really actually is. So, I'm just kind of disappointed. Basically, in this anime, you know, I'm not saying this anime is not the best, but even though I'm just being fair, I'll just give it, give it a seven point five. But yeah, the anime is good, but it's just that the ending is just uh, just the ending of this anime. It just didn't really suit for me. It just basically just it just basically it just really tells me that maybe they must have made a mistake or something like that, or maybe it was just something, or maybe it was just something. That some of the fans were just not happy about. I don't know if this anime is based on light novel, light novel or manga or anything like that, which I really do not know. I don't know if this anime is going to get a season two. I probably will say it's probably not. I'll be very shocked if it does. If it does get a season two, because despite because of the ending and despite that some people were just were just not really all not really not very very happy. Now there's also another thing I definitely want to talk about also too, because I'm really kind of curious because how much how much oh. Or the Blu-ray sales, or the DVDs, must and must of sales, because I mean, because those are very important. Because because you know, because if they don't make an, enough money just to make a season two, then they're not going to do the season two. I think that's one of the reasons why reason why they're not going to do a season two. Because I believe I believe their market for the DVDs for for them it doesn't look so good. That's basically what I think. But I mean, I like it. I mean, I like it. I mean, it's. It's a good solid anime, but it's not really solid, solid, you know. And even though I'm just saying, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But I don't know. It was okay, but it's just the ending was just not for it. Just was not for me. So you know, even though I'm, I'm just saying, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry to be this way. But um, even you know, I'm just that's just basically what what that's just basically my belief. That's just basically what I just do think. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, that's the end of this um. I uh, well, well, not say rant, but the end of this uh, end of this video. So, yeah. Anyone since I'm not, I'll see you guys later. Take care. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the notification bell multiple too, so that you guys watch my videos. And please leave a comment below. But uh, yeah. Anyone since I'm not, I'll see you guys later. Take care. God bless. Remember to love you guys. Please be safe. Please be safe. And remember to stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.